Well, this is a Saturday special health vlog. <laughs> Not something we've really done before, but it's something we're going to be doing hopefully once a month, even better, twice a month. And if we're lucky, three times a month. But I really, I really would not push. Uh, I really would not push it. Push that thinking. What do you think? Do you think I can do three? You're gonna be lucky with one. I'm gonna be lucky with one, not you guys. So, if you are behind to some of the vlogs, you'll know that I have recently realized I have to change my habits, my eating habits, today, uh, like right now. As in, I bought some foods and I'm going to talk to you about them a little bit and tell you why I chose these foods and then kind of go from there. So if this isn't the type of vlog that you normally watch, sorry about that. Um, I know this is a little bit different from our channel, but there are a lot of people who are on a health journey as well and really don't know a lot about the foods they're supposed to be eating. Now while I am not a medical doctor, I am also not a nutrition or a dietitian. I'm going by what I've read online and what I was told to by seven different doctor colleagues and three different MAs. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty confident that the food that I have right here is pretty good. So stick around. I'm going to show you kind of an aerial view of what I'm working with and talk to you about a few things real quick. Boom. Now we're going to talk about sauces. I don't know about you guys, but one of my biggest downfall is downfalls um, are what I choose to eat with my meal. I know that doesn't make much sense, but it's the dipping sauces on the side that I choose to eat with my meal. Anyway, I go all in when it comes to sauces, whether it be sour cream, whether it be Catalina. Um, I'm pretty bad at it. I put Catalina on chicken. Barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Yeah, I didn't even touch barbecue sauce yet. Um, that's going to be a difficult one for me. So I decided after talking to some friends and talking to, like I said, a bunch of people today, I'm not going to go right from regular to fat free. It's something that I won't be able to do. So I'm going to take mine in stages and I'm hoping that it only takes about a month for me um, to go from this down to fat free. And the reason why I'm, I'm cutting down so much is because I want to be able to save the calories that I eat and save the sodium and the carbs for things that I actually really do love to eat. So for me, you guys know that I love a good bowl of sugar cereal. Well, I can't just go and eat sugar cereal on top of everything else that I eat. So I have to make cuts, bigger cuts in other places so that every once in a while I can enjoy, you know, a bowl of sugar cereal. And just so you know, it's kind of like this weird thing that I'm doing in my head. Hopefully by cutting out a bunch of sugar and a bunch of carbs and a bunch of, you know, sodium, I might not even like the sugar cereal when I decide that I'm gonna eat it. Like I might actually just say, hey, you're 45, you know, put away the Lucky Charms. Maybe not, but we'll see. But anyway, you guys kind of know what I mean. Um, it's all about like kind of making these changes but also like tricking your mind. You know, have you seen the video where people will smell like a chocolate bar and then eat, you know, a carrot or something like that? It really kind of is like that but not that extreme. So again, I moved down from the sauces and this takes me down to only eight carbs per serving. Serving is another thing that I had to take into consideration because most of the time with things I have more, way more than one serving. So I, on a salad, I probably have three servings of this. So if I was having three servings uh, regular, that would be quite a few calories that I would be putting on. So this was a good change for me. So I also went to the no salt ketchup I went to the Hidden Valley Light Ranch. I am going to Sour Cream Light. I'm hoping, I'm not a big fan of Greek yogurt, but I'm really hoping that I'll be able to get down to the Greek yogurt level. Um, our dear friend Britter, she makes this dip that goes on chips and it's with um, Greek yogurt. It's really delicious. I'm not, uh, I'll have to get the recipe from her, but. I am really hoping that I get there someday. So, um, again, find out your your biggest weakness and make those gradual cuts and see you know if that helps you. Okay, so this next segment we're gonna kind of talk about sodium again. 
Um, my sodium intake, I'm cutting down to about 1500 milligrams a day. So one thing that I have to be careful with and I, you know, really impress upon you guys to be careful with is when you're reading the back of labels and you'll see stuff that reads like 10%, like everybody knows there's a lot of sodium in cheese. Maybe that's what makes it so good. I have no idea. I just, I, I love cottage cheese. I, I can't even, I can't even tell you how much I love it. I just did actually, I really just told you how much. So this back here, it, this has 200 milligrams and there's about four servings per container. So um, this is 10% of sodium intake, but again, this is probably based on 2,500 milligrams a day. So I can't look at it as, oh, this is my 10%. So every time I do that, I usually add on another 10% just you know to make sure I'm in that safe zone. Now. I don't want you guys to think that I'm being, um, that I'm going to be counting everything because while I'm not going to be writing it down right now, because again, this is another one of those things for me. I'm not telling you guys what to do, but for me, I know what my limits are and I don't want to get tired of doing something. So I'm starting with the changes that I need to make, which is I need to cut out sugar, carbs, which turn into sugar, sodium, and I need to cut my calories down. I can't do that and write everything down at the same time. I know that might sound crazy to you guys, but for me, I can't. So I know what my limits are. Eventually, I will start keeping better track of what I'm eating throughout the day, but I just kind of keep a mental you know, map in my head and just really try to cut out as much salt and uh, carbs and things as I can. So I... Got a couple of cans, three cans actually, of some green beans because I need to also incorporate more vegetables into my dinner. That's gonna help me get in more fiber. That's also going to help me get in, you know, iron. Like good things that are in vegetables. I don't exactly know if there's iron in here. There is, not a lot, but there is some. Um, with that being said, I also got some of this to try. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it, but lower sodium lunch meat. I I think that's important. That's a big change for me since I take lunches to school. And one of the things that I really like is tuna. Um, I, you take a pout, package pouch, a pouch of tuna, and you put in an avocado, and then you kind of take um, like half a lime and squeeze it on there and mix it all up. It's really tasty, and it's a pretty good lunch. Throw some nuts on the side, and you got a pretty well-balanced meal. Uh, there's more servings of iron, like one this one pouch, than there is in, you know, the green beans or in the turkey, like in here. So this is this is good for me because you guys know I have this iron issue. Um next, kind of around the same thing. I got some nuts. I wanted to get I wanted to try some lightly salted almonds because I love almonds, but I don't like I don't really care for unsalted almonds. This is gonna be a really big jump for me, so that's why I'm choosing to, you know, just drop right down to the, the lightly salted almonds. And then I have completely, these are unsalted mixed nuts. So the plan is for me to make up a little bag that has most of these in there, and then a couple of these per bag so I can just kind of get used to it. And yes, there are some almonds in here that are unsalted. So this is like another one of those big like, tricks that I'm going to be doing with my mind and all those like really quick like karate chops in there so I can like voodoo my mind into you know picking up things and, and eating a lot more healthy than I used to. Let's talk crackers. I love crackers. I love a lot of food but I really love crackers. So another huge step for me was to not go down all the way to no sodium. I don't even know if they make those. But I saw these, hint of salt. What's the matter, son? Oh, he's getting his balance beam, which is actually his stool. So, moved on to these. Um, there's about 16 pieces uh, per uh, serving, and sodium is about 55 milligrams. So, that is a, it's so much better. I believe sodium content before was 200 milligrams. So, again, really big deal. Also moved over to the wheat crackers. 
I don't use crackers a lot, but when we do, sometimes we'll like put them on a chicken, like if we're making like a breading or something like that, um, or we'll just have them with peanut butter or like inside soup. But it's only, I don't know if you guys know this, but Ritz crackers, five of them makes one serving. So when you think about that, five of them, and it's 120 milligrams per five. And that's with these ones, with the whole wheat. At my store, they did not have an option to do the, uh, like a lower sodium Ritz. So I'm gonna have to like research and find out where I can get them around here. And again, this is like my stepping stone, guys. None of this is like set. This is like for me, hey, Tiff, you got some huge changes to make. And you guys don't know us. I mean, you know us very well, but you don't know what we eat all the time. This is a huge difference for me. This stuff that I have at the table, this is huge for me. This is a big deal. This in itself is going to change so much for me. Like, I can't even impress upon you how much this is gonna change my caloric intake, my sodium, carbs, all of it. This is a big deal. And this, this was an accident. I really wanted to get a couple meals that I could eat while I was at work in case, again, in case I didn't have time to make food. We have a fridge at work, I could put my name on it, I could throw it in the freezer, and I'd have it there. And I'd keep a couple there just in case for a rainy day. So I started looking at it and I noticed that sure, this is a healthy choice. Look at all that stuff in there. No breading on the chicken, there's um, corn, there's green beans, there's peas, carrots. You do lose a lot of the nutrients when you microwave, so that's kind of like a big deal. But apparently the way they use these healthy choice meals is that um, whatever is on them, I don't know, and I don't know if I believe it and do your research, but apparently you're supposed to still have some nutrients at the end of this when you microwave it. Again, I got it because it's a much better alternative than chipping in and getting fast food at work or ordering a pizza if they ever do that. I'm usually in my office so I don't, I haven't partaken right now, but people are always knocking on the door saying, hey, we're ordering lunch, do you want anything? Um, I haven't caved yet and this would have ensured that I didn't. However, in this one meal, this one serving size meal that has 300 calories, which sure, by caloric count, that's great. Um, there's a little, there's 8% of this, 1.5 milligrams of iron. This is a big deal. 600 milligrams of sodium. That is a lot. That is a lot of sodium. 600 milligrams. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much half. I won't be able to eat this, so I'm gonna have to give this, and maybe Carrie will eat it, because you know she doesn't have to cut down on hers, and it looks really good because it's literally a pot pie without the crust, which is like my favorite. Every time my grandma would make pot pies, she would just make me some with the sauce and the stuff on the side. Yeah, very nostalgic. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end. Anyway, let's end this thing with a bang. Um, thanks to one of our, our dear mods, Beth Hopper. She had sent a message or let us know somewhere. Carrie let me know that it was from Beth. I gotta be honest with you, I haven't seen anything yet or read anything for today. But she told me I should get Sprite Zero. So at the end, I added on, um, the end of my order I added on, which you could see from that overlay picture. I'm gonna just put it in right here. Um, some Sprite Zero and I put in some Diet 7-Up, uh, Diet Cherry 7-Up. Now, I know that there's a big misconception um, about, about me drinking diet, so let's clear that up. I'm not a fan of diet soda, and I don't wanna continue to drink diet. There are some studies out there that kinda show that there is a link. Um, some of the stuff that they use in sodas has been linked to diabetes, and uh, diet sodas, I should say. Let me just, let's rewind and make sure that you guys heard that. However, I, I don't know if things are different now. So, to be safe, I do not plan on drinking diet soda forever. What I'm trying to do is cut out the diet stuff first, then cut out carbonation. I'm not gonna cut them both out because that's just gonna amp up my craving. I used to drink soda, you know, maybe 
to maybe three times a week if I was bad. But I never, I didn't drink soda once a day. You know, I didn't get that bad like I was before. But I do know that when I have a soda, I also really like that carbonation. So that's why I'm choosing to do it. I also, at the behest of a lot of people, got this ice stuff. Now I've tried bubbly and I can't stand it, but my BFF, uh, Kayla, said that she likes this stuff. She does not like bubbly either, so I thought, okay, we have similar taste buds when it comes to things, you know. We used to live together for a long time, ate similar foods, so I'm hoping that I like this. My mother-in-law, Mr. Wilson, she drinks it, our niece drinks it. A lot of people I see drink it. You know what, can I just open one and taste it? I'm gonna try this lemonade one. Let's see if I like it. Boy, I'm sitting here like talking it up, saying I'm gonna like it, I'm gonna like it. I really, I really hope I'm gonna like it. <sighs> Here's the get go. <laughs> you don't like it. What flavor is it though? You know what? It is a hundred times better than bubbly. And if this were cold, I would be able to drink it just you fine. You started with lemonade. I, I did because this one, I'd rather have these cold, I think. It's not bad. Oh, that's pretty good actually. And it's got the carbonation in it. I think it's I think it's pretty good. A lot of lemon stuff. So. I wanted to just try something out of the box, you know, to like mm -hmm. mess with the, the taste buds there. So, okay, I liked the lemonade, awesome. And then this was one of the number one things on a bunch of different sites. Apparently, eating this cheddar popcorn from Smart Pop it, or Smart Food, this is like the way that diabetics go. Um, it doesn't have any artificial preservatives in it. Now, the there are two and a half cups per serving in this, but there's only 240 milligrams in the two and a half cups. Two and a half cups of popcorn is quite a lot. I mean, that's a good amount. That's a good snack. So that wouldn't be for all the time, but you know, if I ever wanted to have something crunchy and you know, like something that wasn't bland, I mean, because it's cheese, it's white cheddar, um, I think that that will hopefully hit the spot. And no, I haven't forgotten. I did get some stuff for some slime, but we're going to have to look at that on Monday's vlog. Well, all right guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Um, it's gonna be a hard road for me for the next couple of months, but I officially picked up my my metformin today. I won't start it till tomorrow morning because you take it in the morning, I eat it with breakfast. I'm I just like everyone with metformin, you eat it with food. Uh, it's difficult for me to say out loud that I should have been more proactive. You know, I I lived with this fallacy that I was overweight, but I didn't have a lot of health problems. And while there are a lot of people who probably don't, I do. I do now, because even though this isn't a huge health problem, and more than likely, if I continue down this path that I'm on right now, I'll be able to manage it and I won't have to stay on the metformin. But admitting that you know, when I started my big health kick back in May, you know, if I had stayed on that, if I had stayed as determined. Now, I haven't really delved off of it that much other than I haven't been able to pedal as much. But I mean, I've still been eating healthier. But had I stayed on that, I might not be where I am today. So if you're in this position, if you feel like something might not be right with your body, don't wait too long. You know, go and get it checked out. Make those changes. Try not to be afraid about it because... It's scary, but I'm so glad that I caught it before it was too late. Because if my blood sugar had been messed up longer, I might I might be fully diabetic right now. I might be having to take insulin, like who knows. So I'm glad that I have this chance and I'm not going to give up. I'm gonna keep moving forward and keep eating healthy to make these changes that I need to. So, with that being said, I am turning over a new leaf as of today. I know that I need the positivity in my life. And while previously I have welcomed any and all criticism, any criticism that comes across to me 
Carrie or one of the mods as overly negative and not constructive, you will no longer have your comment up and you might get deleted from the page. So keep that in mind because it's not just me, it's a lot of people here trying to make these healthy changes and while we respect freedom of speech, there's a difference between freedom of speech and just being a butthole. So hopefully you really think about that and you decide, hey, is this comment gonna give her motivation or is this comment just being mean? And then really think about it and ask yourself that again and again and again. So think about that. It's very hard for me to put this video up and admit that, yeah, I was wrong. And you know what? I should have I should have been more proactive. I should have done this a while ago. But I'm here now and I'm not going anywhere and I'm not going to tolerate the horrible things that some people say. So let's do this together. Who's ever here and whoever wants to do this with me, let me know down below. Let's change our lives and let's start today. So thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for sharing this video with someone who might need it. And uh, we'll catch you on the flippity.